two and a half weeks away from Joe Biden's inauguration, a recording of President Trump pressuring the Georgia Secretary of State to find more votes in his favor. On that same call, former North Carolina Congressman and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Tonight, we take a deeper look at why Meadows could want to be a part of that controversial phone call. All I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 Votes. President Trump on the phone with Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, the Republican responding to the president saying that Joe Biden won Georgia and the claims of election fraud are unfounded. If there was substantial evidence, we all know that Georgia officials, the Justice Department, all of these mechanisms that really are at Trump's beck and call to prove fraud would have done so by now. Also on the call, North Carolina's Mark Meadows. In the recording obtained by the Washington Post, Meadows says, I was hopeful that, you know, in the spirit of cooperation and compromise, is there something we can at least have a discussion to look at, some of these allegations, to find a path forward that's less litigious. He's already said that he's not going to run for the United States Senate in North Carolina. So it seems like the sort of traditional elected offices are not what Mark Meadows is after. He's after power in other ways, and the best way for for him to gain power at this point is to align himself with President Trump. Whatever post-election world that might be. I certainly think he has hitched his wagon to Donald Trump and he'll go over the cliff with him. Former North Carolina State Supreme Court Justice and Republican Bob Orr. The way he handled uh, his uh, sudden resignation from his congressional seat in the 11th district and his tenure as White House Chief of Staff has done nothing to enhance his, his electability or his credibility uh, in the broader scheme of things. It's ironic that, that President Trump, somebody who obviously cares a lot about what other people think of him and has a unique ability to draw supporters to his side, um, that ultimately I think that he's going to uh, be judged as somebody who was trying to nefariously hold on to an election that he did not win. And so far, no reaction from Mark Meadows. Georgia election officials held a fact-based news conference a short time ago disputing the claims made by the president saying his team has misled, quote-unquote, the public.